do we have going on today? First off, what is the date today? Today is the second day of January 2022. So I hope you all had a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year. We did. Um, Christmas Day, it was 75 degrees out. Right now, I think it's uh, close to 28 degrees out. Let's see. It's 30 degrees outside right now, and it is slightly snowing. Well, snowing pretty good, but for not long. So, hot Christmas, cooler first of uh, January 1st, okay? So we've got a three for one special for you all today. Beer of the weekend, we are going to be drinking Yingling's Hershey's Chocolate Porter. A collaboration they did. Now then, I'm gonna go ahead, well, uh, we'll wait. And we are doing two hot wing sauces. First hot wing sauce. This one's gonna be hot. Hellfire Fear This Hot Sauce, featuring the Carolina Reaper, the world's hottest pepper. I'm gonna read the back of it. This sauce features the fresh and all natural flavor of the hottest pepper in the world. Even hotter than the ghost or scorpion peppers, the Carolina Reaper is the new reigning champion, averaging a blistering 1.58 million Scoville units of heat with peaks at 2.2 million. Needless to say, this sauce is extremely hot. Use caution and enjoy. Hellfiresauce.com and also, second Hellfire sauce. Actually, let me get this on the camera before I forget. So this one's gonna be hot. This one here is pretty hot too for uh, amateurs. Hellfire hot sauce, roasted reaper, devil's blend. Devil's blend roasted reaper, our award-winning fire roasted Verde sauce features a blend of Carolina Reaper, habanero, and jalapeno peppers. Add roasted garlic, Granny Smith green apples, tomatillos, scallions, cilantro, and a hint of lime, and you have a masterpiece flavorful forward with just the right amount of heat. Voted best taco sauce. Enjoy. We're going to be eating this on wings today. I've already had this one. I have not had this one. Okay, I got these hot sauces for Christmas. I got a whole bunch of hot sauce for Christmas. These are the two we're trying today since they're the same brand. Okay, now straight up, this beer, I probably, this does not pair well with what we're eating today. This would be, if I wanted, if I wanted to drink this with something, I would pair it with uh, something sweet like crepes or uh, French toast or pancakes. I know that sounds weird having beer with uh, breakfast items, but this is what I would probably want to drink this with. But we're going to drink it anyhow with what we've got here. So I'm going to go ahead and do the beer review straight up. Okay, we're going to try to make this as quick as possible with three things. So the first time I had this, I did not really care for it. It was an okay beer, but I wasn't getting the, the chocolate flavor. So what I read up on was it's better to have this not ice cold, slightly warmer than ice cold. And it's grown on me. It gets a little better with time. Uh, it smells like a porter. I don't know if I'm smelling chocolate, like I said. For it to be Hershey's, it's not screaming chocolate. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and have a swig of this before we partake of these wings, cause that'll ruin it. So it is a good beer, okay? 
and it's got, I'm gonna say, slight notes of chocolate. Not just heavy, heavy. I was kinda hoping for maybe a little heavier notes of the chocolate of the Hershey's, uh, but it's not, it's just not screaming that. But it is a good beer. For an overall beer, I would give this a nine. High eight, low nine. Uh, if it was just chocolatey, chocolatey, I would probably give it a 10. That being said, not the greatest beer for hot wings. All right, let's get into the hot sauce. We are going to do Hellfire Devil's Blend Roasted Reaper first. I know this one is milder. Uh, if you think Louisiana hot sauce is hot, you probably shouldn't have this. It's gonna be too hot for you. Just for the sake of camera time, I'm only going to do one wing. So in my opinion, this is a very good hot sauce. Long, long time ago we did Hellfire um, what was the name of that one? I don't remember, but it was one of my favorite hot sauces. It was hotter than this one. It was pretty hot, but not chemically hot. So, but it brought tears to my eyes. This one is not making me cry yet. It's definitely got the garlicky taste. Really good one. I give this sauce a 9 out of 10 for my personal all right, we're gonna clear our palate a little bit. Like I said, that Hershey's Porter does not pair well with garlicky hot sauce. Now I'm a little afraid of this one. It says caution, it's hot, so I know it's gonna be hot. This is going to take me a minute. Whew. So this is my classic problem with hot, hot sauces. Is I'll start hiccuping. Now this is hot. And I'm going to tear up just a little bit. That being said, I've had way hotter, but that is not what they are going for. The Hellfire, they go for flavor over just crazy heat. They still want it to taste good. They want it, you to tear up, but they still want you to enjoy the sauce. So this is definitely enjoyable. Definitely, definitely gonna get that capsaicin high off of it. So yes, I'm crying, but I am enjoying it at the same time. We got a little tear coming down. This tastes like the other Hellfire. The other Hellfire was fiery full. To me, this tastes very similar. Uh, without tasting it right now, I don't know if I'd be able to tell the differences, but this definitely reminds me of the fiery full. 
So for the average person, this is probably gonna make you cry a little bit, but I really enjoy this. Uh, I'm gonna give this a nine out of 10 too, possibly a 10. I really like this. So clearings my palate a little bit. So all good products today for the reviews. Like I said, hope you all had a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. We did. Um, so thank you for watching the review. Hope it helps you out. Good stuff.